Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys my Sunday reset routine. I prioritize my Sunday reset routine a lot and I think that it's so important and it really helps me get ready for the new week and to start the new week on the perfect note. So I will be sharing that with you guys. I'm gonna be taking an everything shower. I'm also going to be changing my bed sheets, just doing everything, the whole nine yards, just to clean and get ready and reset for the new week. So. If you like this type of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment anything you want down below. With that being said, let's get into it. to bake some cookies i'm in the mood to bake some chocolate chip cookies that i have and i'm only gonna make like probably three or something like that because i don't want to make like a whole bunch because i'm the only one that eats them and i'm not in the mood for like a bunch of cookies i just want like a little bit just like a little sweet tooth moment and i like treating myself on sundays so now that i'm relaxing and all of that i'm gonna do little face mask and bake some cookies so I'm very excited <music> Okay, so right now I'm going to be doing a little bit of skincare, self-care, all of that kind of stuff. Obviously, it's Sunday and it's part of my reset routine to do things to take care of myself and prioritize myself because it's the reset for the start of the new week and I love starting off the new week on a good note, just feeling nice and clean, nice and healthy. So that's why I took an everything shower. And now I'm going to do like some extra skincare and self-care because I feel like Sundays are the perfect days to just take a little bit of extra care for your skin and just do things that make you happy because it's so important to take care of yourself and i take sundays as the day of the week where i just do a little bit of extra things just to make me feel good i just think it's very important to do some extra self-love on sundays for example for me i change my sheets every single sunday i am not going to change my sheets any other day that is not a sunday 
because I made a routine for myself. So on Sundays, I wash my hair. I do an everything shower. I wash my hair. I wash my whole body. I shave. Like I do the whole nine yards. And on Sundays, I also change my bed sheets. So if you add all of that together, Sundays is the perfect day to reset for the week and clean everything. So I clean my bed sheets, I clean my body, I clean my hair, I clean my face. Obviously I clean my face every day of the week and I'm clean and all of that every day of the week. But on Sundays, it's like a little extra push to make sure that everything is nice and clean. And so I could start off my new week in the best space and way possible because it just gets me going for the week. Okay, this is all I'm gonna put. I'm not gonna put it on my forehead because my forehead is pretty clear, but this is where I put my face mask. I just put it on my nose and my cheeks because right now I'm kind of suffering with a little bit of acne just because I've been so stressed recently. Like I've had so much stress. I don't think I've ever been this stressed in my life. I mean, I struggle with like stress and like anxiety, but I just think that it's been a lot in the past couple of months and all of that, just like with schoolwork, like I have so much assignments and just other stuff. And I also haven't done a face mask in a while. I think it's been like two weeks or something because I want to do it every week, but some weeks I feel like my skin is good, so it doesn't need it. But this week, I definitely needed it because my skin is suffering. So I'm going to keep this little face mask on, put a little 15 minute timer. I think I'm only supposed to keep it for 10 minutes, but I do 15 just so the salicylic acid could really like sit inside of my pores and my skin. Because yes, this face mask does have 2% of salicylic acid, which if you don't know, it helps with acne and pimples, all of that. I don't have any active acne, like active pimples, like with pus, but right here you can't see, but I have like a couple of pimples that are just sitting there because I don't pop them or anything, but they don't have pus. I don't know if I'm making sense, but. I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll wait for the timer to go off. here but as you could see i have some pimples and some like acne going on right here so the face mask really helps with that and i actually know for a fact that it does because every time i have like acne or blemishes whatever i do the face mask and it really helps like in a couple of days it disappears and also when i'm wearing the face mask sometimes it like burns which means that like it's working but like burns in a good way because there's burning in bad ways and burning in good ways, but I know for a fact that it works because I've been wearing and using this mask for a really long time and every time I wear it and I use it, it really helps and I know for a fact that it does. But yeah, this is my face as you could see and it feels extremely hydrated and clean and nice now that I just finished my skincare. This is a close up of my face just to be realistic so you guys could see. Okay, so now that I did my skin prep and I feel all nice and clean and I'm cozy and I just feel so, so, so good. The next step and the step that I think that is crucial and so, so, so important for a Sunday reset is to plan for the new week. I think that planning is so beneficial and so helpful in so many different ways and there's nothing better than on a Sunday night planning for the new week. You have a whole new week ahead of you. Tomorrow is Monday. Monday mornings are where you wake up and you have all this motivation and you just have to just start your day and get things done because if you start your week off on the right mindset and the right place, the rest of the week will be a breeze to you and it will be so much easier to just get through the week 
on a good note and with good vibes good positive vibes so that is exactly what we're going to be doing right now i'm going to be using notion which i talk about in a lot of my videos i have a little like agenda for my week like a weekly schedule that i made and i'm going to be using it to plan out just important things that i have to look forward to this week like deadlines like assignments just things that i have to get done appointments all of that kind of stuff so i have the notion but i also have a physical agenda which i also use and i have to switch it because we're in a new week so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be updating both things kind of sometimes i like writing physically sometimes i like having it on my computer because it's just easier to like check off and see since i'm on my computer for like most of the day so I'm just going to plan for the new week and organize my life so it's easier to get things done and I know exactly what I have to do rather than procrastinating and leaving everything till the last minute. <laughs> Okay, I just finished planning for the new week and now I know exactly what I have to do every single day of the week and my tasks that I have to accomplish and complete with the due dates and the deadlines. Now I have all of that set. I put it on my computer and on my physical planner just so I could have two schedules and like things visually so I could like check both of them off. And yeah, so it's gonna help me a lot and have me scheduled and ready to complete everything that I have to do for the week. And it just feels so nice because then I'm not gonna have to like think about what I have to do. Like the worst feeling is when you have to think, like you know that you have a bunch of things to do, but you don't like know exactly what they are. So you have to like sit there and think like, oh my God, what did I have to do? I have to do this. Like, you know, like having it just written down like somewhere, either it can be on your phone, like literally anywhere, like on a sticky note, like you don't need a whole planner. Like it's not necessary. I just have it because, you know, I like having like the dates and all of that, but just having it written down, like you know exactly what you have to do. Like you wake up and you know your purpose for the day you know exactly what you have to get done and you just go ahead and start that task you don't have to be wasting time thinking and being like oh wait no uh, no that's just so unnecessary so that's exactly why i like doing it i totally encourage all of you to do the same now what i'm gonna do is just relax i'm gonna probably look at some things that i've been wanting to buy on my ipad i have like a list of things that i want to buy i've been looking at some things but i don't have like the specific thing i still have to find it but i have like three like things generally that i want to buy but i just haven't found exactly the ones that i want so i'm just gonna wander around on my ipad and just do some online shopping. I'm probably not gonna buy anything, but I just wanna like find some things that I like, save them to my cart because that's my favorite thing to do. Just add things to my cart and then never buy them. But I actually think I'm gonna buy these things. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill on my bed and go on my iPad a little bit. My iPad is literally my best friend. I don't use it as much as I thought I was gonna use it before buying it, but I'm trying to use it more because I bought this with my own hard-working money and I want to put it to use, so yeah. 